How's it going everybody? Henry here. Today we're going to talk about can you become a personal trainer if you're overweight? Now this came up recently. I met with someone that is interested in becoming a personal trainer and they were sharing with me their personal um, story, how they've gotten to where they're at now and um, something that was holding them back is like, well, I'm not in the shape that I want to be and you can absolutely be a personal trainer. Um, if you're not done with your fitness journey because most people are never done with their fitness journey You know once you hit a certain goal So if your goal is to you know lose 30 pounds you hit that you're gonna end up with a new one because if you have a passion for health and wellness you're gonna discover you know what is exciting to you now and that um, threshold once you achieve it that you can do so much more so you're always gonna be progressing and you shouldn't wait to get into the business until you're in the shape that you want to be because more people especially if you're in you know like I don't work in a specialty gym I actually work for Gold's Gym um, so we we help you know your general population people we don't specialize in any form or the other just at your general gym or if you want to be around health and wellness you know lose weight gain muscle you know we help with that people are going to relate to you more now what you don't want to do is become a personal trainer and then not continue to improve yourself um, because then you, you're going to start feeling like you know you're not being honest you're not being genuine and it's it's hard to be successful in the business you probably can but it's hard to be successful in the business if you know you can't speak to the results that you get for yourself and your clients and there are plenty of trainers that um, and I'm using overweight as an example but it could be anything you know that are overweight that um, have great careers in fitness and they never you know get in really that great a shape and they're successful because people relate to them now I don't encourage people to do that. Now, I don't walk around telling people, hey, you need to lose 10 pounds or something like that. But I do encourage my trainers to have fitness goals and to work on them, whether that's doing a bodybuilding contest, running a race, or you know, reaching a certain level of um, body fat. You know, Whatever it is, you should have goals that you're able to obtain because it just will help you when you're talking to somebody, um, relate to them, and it'll, you'll grow in your career. So definitely if you've been thinking about becoming a personal trainer don't wait until you have a six-pack because that's not what health is having a six-pack does not mean that you're healthy there's plenty of people that have six-packs that are completely unhealthy um, their gen and x are just helping them so you know just because on the outside doesn't match what's on the inside if you have the knowledge and the passion you know, don't wait definitely get into it and if you are inspired by those things it'll actually help you um, when you start helping other people it's going to help you push forward and work harder you know if you go into your gym so if you're a member of a gym this is something that you've been thinking about look around at some of the employees like yeah there's going to be some that are in really good shape um, but there's others that are completely not so you definitely don't have to be in shape to work in fitness um, but i would recommend it you know um, i'm working on some things for myself because I want to be a better example for people and you know I'm in decent enough shape I'm not a uh, full six-pack and you know model ready to go do a show but you know I'm you know low lowish body fat you know nothing that um, to celebrate but I'm not unhealthy and I do want to push forward to reach a point where people would you know be inspired by also my physique and not just my knowledge and things like that to help them so food for thought um you know if you if you want to get involved with fitness you want to be a personal trainer don't wait till you what you have in your head what how you see you should self be don't wait till you're there go ahead and get started get hired on because you're going to be more relatable when you're still going through your journey than um without and if you check out some of my other videos the sales techniques on how you sell personal training have very little to do with how you look honestly you know all it is is making the product tangible for the person and showing them that you are the person that can get them from a to b and that's why they should invest that large sum with you so if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or if you disagree or something like that put it in the comment section below because i'm sure there's plenty of people out there that do disagree with me um but i just think you know if it's something you're interested in don't wait get involved you know you're already probably in better shape than someone else that's joining the gym and you can help them you might be you know the physique that you're in right now might be the perfect icebreaker for them to get started with a personal trainer so use whatever you have whether it's just getting started um, use that to your advantage um, learn some techniques so that way you can help you know give your message to them and they understand it what you're trying to do and buy it um, you know use all that to your advantage so again like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time